Can I say one final thing about Ron Paul since I, everyone seems so interested in him and I guess we have to <laughs> go here in a minute. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not going to apologize at all. For, for A lot of people, when they criticize Ron Paul, have to preface their criticism by saying, uh, you know, he's a good guy and it brings a lot to the debate. I actually don't buy that. I don't think he's a particularly good guy. Uh, I think he'd be better, be better for the Republican Party, and I will say this, I've thought about this some, I think it would be better for the Republican Party if he left the Republican Party. A lot of Republicans are spending a lot of time, how do we keep Ron Paul in the tent? How do we make sure he doesn't go third party? Including his other opponents? Yes, and his opponents are being very nice to him on the stage. Uh, Republicans spent a lot of time keeping Pat Buchanan in the tent in 92 and 96. He gave a primetime speech in the 92 convention. That didn't really help President Bush's re-election uh, run. He did well in the 96 primaries. Um, I guess he supported Bob Dole. I don't think Bob Dole won. He left the party in 99, and a lot of people, and I was one of them, said goodbye and good riddance. You're not in the mainstream of the Republican Party. Go run as a Reform Party candidate, as an independent candidate. He did in 2000. He didn't get many votes. And actually, George W. Bush, I think, was helped. The Republican Party was helped to be free of Buchanan's extreme isolationism, protectionism, um, anti-Israel views, and the like. Uh, Ron Paul is a little different from Pat Buchanan, but he's no better, in my view. And I actually think the Republican Party would be benefited uh, in the long run, but even in the short run. Even in, Ron, this, in this 2012 yes, election? Yes. Look how many Democrats and independents are voting for Paul in these primaries. So the you New think it would, it would hurt President Obama in no, a general No, I don't election. know, honestly, but I would just feel more comfortable as a Republican and as a conservative saying, you know what, our party, if Ron Paul can do whatever he wants and his supporters obviously can do whatever they want, and if he wants to support whoever the Republican nominee is, people are free to support whoever they want. But my, I don't think anyone should plead with him not to run or to stay in the party, and I would be comfortable in the general election. If Mitt Romney or Rick Santorum or Newt Gingrich were standing as the Republican in the Reagan tradition and debating both Barack Obama and Ron Paul. Let's try to get in uh, one more phone call, maybe maybe a couple here. Rick, a Democrat in Dyer, Tennessee. Go ahead, Rick, if you could make it quick, that'd be great. Well, good morning. Morning. Uh, 1994, when you passed NAFTA, about four of your candidates was for NAFTA. And it's cost this country millions of jobs, millions of jobs. <laughs> and it ain't very patriotic for a company to take their profits and move it overseas for their own gain and, and your gain that you got money that you can put and invest in. Thank you. Well, I, I supported NAFTA and I do today. I don't think we've lost jobs to Canada and uh, to Mexico. We, my, some companies did move jobs to Mexico, but I think the trade between Canada and the U.S. and Mexico and the U.S. has on the whole been a benefit to the U.S. So I support NAFTA and I have no apologies for it. Richard, an independent in Clearwater, Michigan. Morning. Good morning. Uh, Mr. Crystal and America, stop lying about Ron Paul. There is a revolution going on in this country. This is restoring individual liberty. Talk about the issues, for crying out loud. He wants to end the Federal Reserve and give us sound money. He wants to end the undeclared and unconstitutional wars. What's he voted. On? Didn't he Julia? vote? Didn't he say last night that he no. voted for one of those wars? You know, no. Listen to me. He voted for the authority to get bin Laden. That was not the authority to go into Iraq. And besides, don't demagogue the issue. We're talking about personal freedom and liberty. You're, you neocons are done. Go away. America doesn't want you anymore. Fox News lies. Your propaganda is a disgrace to the republic. Okay. Give us a break. All right, Richard. Bill Crystal. I think this is a country of liberty, and I don't think we need Ron Paul to bring us back our liberty. I actually am a big critic of the Federal Reserve, and I'd be happy to, I've even, I'm even mildly pro-gold standard, so I'm, I'm not one of those who rules out every radical change in economic policy and, and other forms of policy. And I'm happy to debate foreign policy with Ron Paul and Pat Buchanan and people who agree with him. But the notion that somehow, you know, fine, Ron Paul can try to lead a revolution. I'm not interested in a revolution. I'm, I'm interested in restoring uh, limited constitutional government in a sensible way. I'm also uh, interested in uh, preserving the good things the government does. And I'm interested in preserving a strong U.S. role in the world, which I think is important for ourselves. I'm interested in stopping Iran from getting nuclear weapons, which Ron Paul seems to think isn't important. So if Ron Paul thinks it'll be good for our individual liberties to have an Iranian regime with nuclear weapons and then a nuclear arms race in the Middle East, if he thinks that kind of world is a good world, it's going to be a free world for our children, and, a, and we'll make it easier to preserve freedom here at home for our children and grandchildren. He's welcome to that view, but I don't agree with it. 